Hello, I'm Blake Tucker, aka Dr. Inkwell. I don't want you to drink more, I want you to drink well. I'm encouraging you today to think creatively about the ingredients we've made and combinations that might be available. In particular, we've made ginger syrup recently, so I want to bring you a fun thing, which is scotch, ginger, mint, and lemon. We are going to muddle this in this drink, so to start off, we just need uh, eight or so mint leaves, two, three, four, rip this off, and eight, nine, oh hell, we're going to go a little longer, ten, eleven, that's perfect, look I've got just enough mint left to make a nice garnish, so I'll put this aside, and now I will add two ounces of scotch. Thinking about flavor combinations is something that is part experience and part study. There are a few books out there in the marketplace that you can check out that will advise you on flavor combinations. This is three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. The tradition with muddling is to muddle in simple syrup, but when you muddle in spirit and citrus, you get a fresher mint flavor. So I'm just bruising all of these mint leaves. The, an appropriate scotch for this is not a single malt or something a little more expensive. A blended scotch is really what you're looking for. You're looking for a scotch flavor profile that's not too egotistical or pronounced in one direction. Something not too smoky. Even a Japanese whiskey would be good in this. Toki, for example. Um, or Kokari, even. Now, I'm going to add three quarters of an ounce of ginger syrup that we have made previously. Ginger tends to thicken syrup a little bit, so you'll see the texture of this is a bit gloopy. And now we're going to add some ice, and we'll give it a shake. And there's one thing you can do to improve your cocktail game, and that is keep your drinks colder longer. So I have a specific freezer just for glassware, but you can just put one or two glasses in your freezer and use them as you make your cocktails. When you take one out, drop one in, then you've always got one available. Uh, so let me get a frozen glass. So a frozen glass provides a great feel and also wonderful experience in consuming your home drink. Add a little bit of ice to this and then we can strain right in. A little bit of mint leaves in there is actually really nice but I don't like having big chunks of mint in my mouth. So that's why I like to strain over new ice for minted drinks. And then grab your reserved mint for garnish, give it a slap to release those oils, and just tuck it inside. Voila. There's something really great about the iodine kind of flavor that you get in scotch that goes well with ginger and lemon. And the mint it just brightens it up. It's a little sweet actually. So we need an ounce of lemon juice, a scant ounce, like a little bit short. Any whiskey will do with this drink, but I really like it with scotch. Uh, try it with bourbon if that's what you have at home. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe. And next week was going to be Negroni week, so we're going to call it Not Groni Week and come up with something a little bit different. Um, Negroni week has been postponed to September in hopes that we can actually go out to bars by then. If you didn't know, I'm also the beverage director for Taste Catering. Last week I released a video about Hospitality Helps, which is the initiative that we founded at Taste with Meals on Wheels. It's a nonprofit for providing meals to the needy, and the cause is dear to my heart, as you can see in the video. Watch the whole thing. I think it's moving. I think it's wonderful what we're doing. Please donate if you can, and if you can't, just share our message. Get the word out there. We want to keep this initiative going as long as it's needed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Cheers. That's really good. <laughs>